Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss about this the one rule, important rule, 68, 95 and 99.7% rule. We can call it this rule as empirical rule also. But before starting this, we must understand what do you mean by the 68, 95, 99.7% rule. That's the most important. So basically, this rule states that 68% of the data points will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. And 95% of the data points will fall within two standard deviation of the mean. And 99.7% of the data points will fall within three standard deviation of the mean. So it gives how much of the data lies between within one, two, or three standard deviation of the mean. This is the 68, 95, and 99.7% that was first discovered by Abraham in 1733 during his experimentation of flipping 100 fair coins. In statistics, the empirical rule states that 99.7% of data occurs within three standard deviation of the mean within a normal distribution to this and 68% of the observed data will occur within the first standard deviation and 95% will take place in the second deviation and 97.5% within the third deviation, 99.7%, right. So let's come to the one example. The most important is three conditions of normal distribution. How we can say this data is normally distributed. So three conditions, symmetrical bell shape. The most important that curve should be symmetrically bell shape. Symmetrically bell shape means when we will divide into two parts. This is the symmetrical bell shape. When we will divide this curve into two parts, so these would be identically half to each other. Both, both side, left side and right side would be same. Mean and medians are equal, both located at the center of the distribution, approximately 68% approximately equal. So we can say this is the mean value, this is the mean point, where is mean and, we can say mean and median are equal. And that fall within the, this one is the, if we will move one standard deviation towards the right side, one standard deviation towards the left side, minus 1. So you can see 68% of the data that would be fall in between both these boundaries. So mean and median would be equal and 68% of the data fall within the one standard deviation. These are the three rules that is we can call it three conditions of normal distribution. Now the next question is arise what do you mean by one sigma? So one sigma is one standard deviation from the norm is also called mean or average. When plotted against a normal distribution, a bell-shaped curve in this figure you can see or on a control chart, right? We I will show you control chart also. It shows how much variance a particular data items is from the average. You can see here, this is one of the uh, well-defined zero here is when mean is equal to median, right? And plus one standard deviation, minus one standard deviation, right? Then plus two, minus two, right? This is the range and the range minus three to plus three. So in this image, we can see zero would be the mean or zero standard deviation from the mean. That means there is no standard, there is, is the no deviation from mean. It means. So, for the specific distribution, 68% of all data will be within one standard deviation, either above or below. Here is the height of the curve represents how common that value is on the distribution. How many times that is falling in this distribution, right? So, here is the height of the curve represents how common the value in the distribution most points fall in the middle this is the one example the that, that can be help is iq iq has been designed to have a mean of 100 
and a standard deviation close to 15. Suppose this example we are taking. So that means we can take it median value would be 100. Let me use my pen. We can say, so that means we can say this value would be 100. This value would be 100. 100, right. 100. If we talk about 15 is our standard deviation. What is our mu? We can write it here. Mu is equal to, mu is equal to 15. 15. So what we have to do? 100 plus 15. 100 plus 15. 100 plus 15. So what would be? That value would be 115. That value would be 1, 1 with 1 standard deviation. You can see, right? 1, 1, 1, 5. And towards this side, we will minus 15. What we will do? We will minus 15. So, here is this value would be, you can see, 85. 85. So, majority data, 68% data, right? That would fall 60 percent of data that would fall in between 85 to 150 it means so iq is anywhere from 85 to 150 you would be considered within one standard deviation of the mean 130 iq would be three st two standard deviation above the mean so if we would add one more time 15 means two standard deviation so, what it would be the value at the two standard deviation? That would be 130. 130. And here is same way. What we have to do? We will minus two standard deviation, right? So, what would be the value here? That would be 70. Two standard deviation, 70. So, that means we can say... 90, these are the limits you can see, 95%, 95% data, right, that would be falling in between two standard deviation. So, these values are 70 to 130. IQ would be two standard deviation below the mean, below which could cause concern about the mental retardation, right. So, that is the this in this problem. So, when we have to add on 15 here. So, what would be three standard deviation? Three standard deviation would be 100. I'm writing here that is the three standard deviation. And you can see here 145. 145. Because we had added. And here is minus 15. What we have to do? Minus 15 because our standard deviation is 15. So, we have to do 70, here is minus 15. So, that would be, what would be? That would be, uh, that would be 55. Three standard deviation would be 50. So, three standard deviation means 99.7% of data that would fall in between 95, 55 to 145. So, I hope this rule 68, 95, 99.7% is clear to you. And I'm just showing you why we are calling it empirical rule. So data, data that is normally distributed, unimodal and symmetrical. Unimodal means that is all towards the at the one end. And symmetrical means when we are going to divide into two parts, that would be equally distributed. Unimodal and symmetrical forms a bell-shaped curve. The mean, median and mode are all approximately the same value. In statistics, 68, 95, 99.7 rule, also known as empirical rule. So if we are talking about empirical rule or we are talking, we can call it is like that, is a shorthand used to remember the percentage of values that lie within an interval estimates in a normal distribution, 68%, 95%, and 99.7% of the values lie within 1, 2, and 3 standard deviation of the mean respectively. And uh, you can see here, same example I had explained here, right? Uh, same example, mu is 100. Mu is 15, right? I mean, that is the sigma is 15. You can see here, 
100 is mean and standard deviation 15 and you can see the same kind of values that I had already explained to you previously. Right. And that means this shows rejection reason. That means 0.1% only rejection region. In this case, 2% rejection region. 2.5, not 2%, 2.5. I could correct it, 2.5. Because 2.5% would lie here and 2.5% would be lie there, not 2%. Right. And that would be 2.5%. Because 95% is falling in between. Right. So, here is in that way, that is 95%, right? In that way, we can talk about it. So, 85 to 115, this means 68% of the, the of the population will have IQ scores between 85 to 115, two standard mean this and so on. So, I hope this video is uh, helpful to you to understand what do you mean by, what do you mean by this empirical rule or we can call it 68, 95%, 99%. Rule. And in the next video, we are going to calculate one problem to know the probability how many people would fall in this, in these values, right? We will discuss in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.